Hello, welcome back to The Unsettled. Uh, we, today we're going to be discussing a case which I've been asked to cover quite mm-hmm. a few times. Um, oh yes, there is a lot of uh, messages and traffic to ask us about the case as well. And as much as I didn't want to do it, I'll put it off until season three. Yeah. It's much like most of the yeah. others in season three, I'll put off. Yeah, for season three, especially yeah. for season three. Exactly. So if you're new here, we discuss unsolved crimes, murders, mysteries, fantasy. Sometimes mythology and a lot of cultist and uh, macabre aspects of crimes, crimes and catastrophes and mm. anything weird. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're new, don't forget to like the video if you like it. That is, um, subscribe. Obviously, you know, we are the unsettled. Yeah. And hit the notification bell for all up and coming videos. See? And drop a comment below your thoughts and opinions. So, in this case, we've got to be discussing the Somerton man. You're excited, aren't you? I am. You like this one? I do. Right. On the morning of the 1st of December. Oh, the morning. (laughs) An unidentified man was found dead on Somerton Beach, just south of Adelaide. He's usually referred to as the Somerton Man. Six weeks later, a suitcase apparently containing the man's property was retrieved. Mm. Mm. Interesting. From Adelaide Railway Station's cloakroom, where it had been deposited at around 11am the day, possibly before this man's death. You would expect... <laughs> <laughs> them to deposit if you worked alone. However, apart from three items marked King, Keen, and T Keen, all said differently in Keens, <laughs> exactly, nobody with that name was ever missing or dead. And there was nothing indicating that the man's identity was found among the belongings. Nice. So it seems like possibly someone put the words Keen there. And just throw said, people off. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. The circumstances... Or he did it himself to throw them off, which is even weirder. Possibly. Hmm. The circumstances for this man's death have remained open since 1948. Okay. Yeah. He was found slumped against a wall in a suit. A cigarette half burned on his lap, the labels in his clothing removed. No, not the labels again. (laughs) We can't keep jumping to spy. (laughs) Like <laughs> we can, we can, we can. What makes this case stand out is the fact he wore a suit to a beach. Yeah, very odd. Mm. Many no, that day. Not counting the half cigarette on his lap. <laughs> no, I mean you could spike up a cigarette and fall asleep. True, but it. it would burn down. I've done it technically. I've done it. That's weird it as well. Isn't it? Mm. 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 Many that day noticed the man and found his appearance odd. As you would. Yeah. Many thought the man was drunk. It wasn't until the next day a pair of horse riders investigated further. <laughs> horse riding among a beach. Okay. That was a bit sexual, really. I don't think you could do that anymore. <laughs> That's usually donkeys. Yeah. The Somerton man had not been shot or stabbed. He was clean shaven, indicating he wasn't, I guess, homeless. Yeah. You, you know? You'd say that. Yeah. And there was no injuries on his body at all. Interesting. Right. He had on boxer shorts, a man's singlet. Oh, he's a wrestler. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. A white shirt, a red tie, light brown trousers, and a sweater to match. His shoes polished, and his trousers had seemed repaired by an orange thread. Posh. Seems a bit that way. His pockets consisted of a railway ticket to Henley Beach, a bus ticket to North Glenig. Mm-hmm. An American metal cone, a packet of juicy fruit chewing gum. Uh, okay, mm. I'll never be able to eat them again. <laughs> a packet of Army Club cigarettes containing a different brand of cigarettes. Interesting. Many people have done that. You know, like you, you get the tin and you get the packet and you replace it. it with top it if you like the packet, you know. What I mean? A handkerchief and a packet of matches. <laughs> At least he got his hanky. Yeah. The man had athletic legs. Okay. 
So his calves are really muscular, muscular legs. Yeah. Right. He was around 40 to 50 years old. His feet were oddly angled as though he did ballet. Mm, okay. So it's not unheard of. So I'm not going to judge. So kind of pointed a certain way. Mm. Okay. Bit weird though. Mm. As I stated, no tags on no, any clothes. Man, <laughs> As I stated, no tags on any clothes. It was all cut off. He had no money, no wallet, or no ID. Okay. So there's S- definitely theft involved. Or at least the money, the wallet and stuff, maybe. <laughs> maybe, or maybe he got rid of it after he killed himself. After? Oh, after no, he, he killed himself, he, he killed threw himself. it in the bin. <laughs> maybe. Maybe he took a couple of pills. You get the idea. Yeah. You get the idea. <laughs> the estimated time of death was 2am. The body had not been moved at all after his death. Okay. The man's pupils were rather small, though, and oddly shaped. Okay. Yeah, I've really looked into this case. Mm. Right. He had blood in his stomach, which many in the medical field pointed out was possibly poison, but tests proved otherwise. Yeah, but there are some poisons that go... I'll get into that. Yeah. When lead investigators... To be, uh, which led investigators to believe he may have ingested... Digitalis or strafatin? Strafatin. Strafatin, yeah. Some weird drug which disappears in your body. Yeah, it it gets absorbed and... So they're two two lethal poisons that don't leave a trace. Mm -hmm. Okay. So far, so good? Interesting. You enjoy the summer to the moon. Attempts to identify the man failed. No fingerprints on any system, although coroners say the man died of heart failure. Okay. Again, so those toxins do bring about heart mm. failure as well. One thing I forgot to mention was that orange thread on his trousers was also found in that suitcase that they recovered. Okay, so he repaired his trousers himself. It's not unheard So we can of. safely say that the suitcase that they retrieved was definitely was living. His. Yeah, okay. Was okay. Several months later, while more investigations went underway, a small pocket was found sewn into his waistband a folded piece of paper that read the taman should a shard should shard taman should shard no right which means it's finished or it's ended was found so they found a small piece of paper which found that Mm. Mm. weird the words paper was written in distinctive script and was torn out of a rare new zealand edition of the ruby Oh, here we go again. I'm going to butcher this. But it's the Ruby Gat of Omer Kahim, Kayom. The okay. 20th century work of poetry. Oh. I might as well just said that. Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Man, I just found it You better. didn't have to do the tile. <laughs> no, it's, yeah, it was found in a 20th century book of poetry. So there you go. There's no point. <laughs> I could just about read English, let alone foreign words. They looked everywhere for the book which matched the same writing, etc. until a man came to the police station with the copy. Okay. So someone's come with, with the copy. With the copy of the book. Okay. With okay. the bit ripped out. Oh. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. So the police So that is... means he'd done it in a store or a library, and that's just theft. It gets weird. <laughs> to the police's excitement, the book contained the missing piece of paper. So it's the bit that was missing. <laughs> it was the bit out of the right, yeah. It had been ripped clean out. The man who brought the book in claimed he didn't know the man or knew anything of the poems. The man said around December the previous year, he took a trip to the Somerton Beach. The man and his brother found the book. It wasn't until the police wanted those who owned the book to come forward. The brothers investigated and found the copy they had found. Oh, that's weird. Right. Inside the book, they found... It's been been sitting there for a whole year. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> pretty much <laughs> so inside the book they found two unlisted phone numbers and faint lines of a code okay right oh so this is the spy bit the first number was a dead call the second the police tried led them to a young nurse named jessica ellen joe thompson who lived on somerton beach oh that's weird yeah it gets good it mm. gets good it's juicy she was reluctant to speak to the police and later admitted Ooh, to having an ex <laughs> later admitted to having gifted the book to a man named Alfred Boxall but when police followed the lead they found Alfred Boxall alive and well and had the same book Jessica had given him still in his possession oh that's weird right that was even, that's creepier although Jessica said she didn't know the Somerton man she gasped and went white 
and was taken back when shown his picture. Mm, maybe she just had faint of heart. It seems weird. Maybe. She's saying she doesn't know him. And then gasped in that way. Yeah, I d- mm, true, but the you fact, know, people like, are I will also add, she almost fainted when she saw the picture. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And she's a nurse? Yes. Okay, so that writes out faint. With that, the police him. turned to the code. Under a black light, they began to try to decode it, yet no avail. The police lay the body to rest on June the 14th, 1949. Mm. Right. The coroner published his final results with this. I am unable to say who the deceased was, or how he died, or what the cause of death is. Mm. Does that seem suspicious to you? Not really. You, the fact we, two we've brothers got... found a book in their possession, okay, they have weird. no idea how they that's found it, weird. on Somerton Beach. Yeah, that's weird. The fact this woman, who was a nurse, almost fainted at the sight of the Somerton man. That is also very weird. Right. So the theories. The internet's most popular theory is the Somerton man killed himself after being rejected by Jessica. By the nurse. Right. Thought suggested was that she had a son with the Somerton man due to the similarities in appearance. Mm. So the two links. Poison. Jessica handed him the book. Well, not necessarily if the, if the other man had it then. The man obviously got the book from somewhere. Yeah. She handed out this book rather. Mm. 20th century poetry book. It's very rare to have that book. Right. To have two copies of it is <laughs> rarer. <laughs> right, so the similarity connections were to Jessica's son and the Somerton man. And the poetry book. Right, we go with the son first. Okay. They have the same appearance. The right. teeth, genetically, there's a genetic issue with his teeth. Yeah, I've, I've got the same, it's called crumbling teeth. It basically did... Well, I'm gonna be wrong. What? You're wrong. No, I'm no, I'm. I'm just saying my genetic mm. teeth thing is crumbling teeth. Right. But this, the son's genetic teeth. He had his fangs where his two smaller teeth should be. Oh, same so as the Somerton man. They've moved over. Yeah, the same as the Somerton man's. Interesting. So genetic so that's trait. a genetic inheritance, along with a pointy ears. Oh, great! It's a Vulcan. <laughs> So, same ears <laughs> as her son. He did not live long, <laughs> and he did not prosper. <laughs> so, what we're getting at is Jessica's son has the same appearance, okay. teeth so he's and got, ears, yeah. which are both which genetic. Are both genetic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Others believed he was a spy, which we were getting at. You know, <laughs> yeah. you know. yeah. His death, definitely unusual. Poisons that perhaps disappear, no one can ever learn or claim the body. Yeah. The codes in the book... See, we, no we've discussed this. No no, we've, we've discussed obviously spies and mm-hmm. the acts of spies and stuff, yeah. and it does fit with a lot of that, especially the woman in season two. Yeah, yeah. the hotel woman. Go check the video out. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, but there's no fingerprints ever found mm-hmm. on any of this, right? One witness came forward stating he saw one man carrying that crying, the other carrying him over the shoulder on November the thirtieth, nineteen forty-eight which matched the Summerton Man's description. Mm. So he's, maybe he's Sounds like a upset. movie, doesn't it? Seems to be upset. Mm. Perhaps drunk? Possibly. Perhaps. Possibly. Summerton Man's killer, maybe. Plausible. Maybe. Any thoughts so far? Mm. Right, Jessica's own daughters have also investigated this case. That suggest they are they suggest they are related that the Summerton man and her mother was part of a Soviet spy ring. Wouldn't surprise me. Nineteenth May two thousand twenty one this year, buddy. Mm. The body of the Summerton man was dug up and will be tested for more DNA. They're still testing it now, by the way. Interesting. So they've reopened the case. Yeah. So hopefully this case will close eventually, but for now it's open. Yeah. It's unsettled. Mm. So what do you think? He's got pointy little feet. Pointy little ears and fangs where his two little teeth should be. <laughs> Sounds like the <laughs> Dorian. <laughs> Sounds like a ballet vampire. Yeah, well, that's what well. <laughs> Better than a ballet Vulcan. Weird. Mm. But we can safely say the suitcase did belong to the man because of the repaired jeans. Uh, the trousers. trousers yeah. Yeah. Same orange thread. Mm. It does. 
it does sound protect what it does sound like a spy ish aspect. Oh. oh. But do you think that I think it was more of a Do you so think I think it was a group? Oh. Maybe. So you reckon she Jessica saw the face and was like, oh, one of them's dead. One of us or the last of us. Mm. Apart from herself. Mm. Maybe. Maybe that's why those he was seen crying. Maybe they've got someone else, maybe a closer friend to him than everyone else. Mm. We just don't. It it sounds too much like a movie. I'm sorry, it does. It it, <laughs> it, it would make one hell of a decent it's good. sequel. I might. I would like to add those. I don't think I really touched on it that much. The two brothers have brought in the book. Mm. Um, they actually found the book in the car. They actually went to the Somerton Beach and they left the windows open because it was hot. And when they got back, they found the book in their car. Someone threw it in the window. Threw it in the window. Yeah. But they'd taken that little bit, ripped it out, and hid it in their trousers. What? That's weird, man. (laughs) Why? It's good though. Maybe. (laughs) So what was it? What was in the thing? It was. What was the phrase? Uh, what was the phrase? Um, it was that Adam. it is it is now ended or whatever it is. Because I think it makes me work. Okay, so it means it's finished or it, it's ended. Yeah. So maybe he hid something. Okay. In that poetry poem. There's codes in there and there's two numbers. Yeah. Yeah. One number resorted to Jessica, so they, he obviously knew her. Yeah. And obviously the son is related because there's no way but you maybe, can't have that maybe genetic it's not. mutation without anything else. Yeah. Mm, maybe it mm. is something to do with the spy game, I'm not going to lie. You want it to be spies, though? I, I do. I do. It, it sounds too much like a movie, and <laughs> it's just, it's one of those things where it's. <laughs> I'm I'm going through my movie genre in my head and I'm like, yeah, there's definitely him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you think it's spy? Yeah. Mm. I mean, all these labels are cut off. All the labels are cut off. We've gone through this with that Russian fucking doll thing in season two. Is <laughs> <laughs> <She laughs> a doll? It sounds like it. Yeah. yeah. She had a name like a Russian doll. I can't even remember that. <laughs> <laughs> all her labels were cut off. Yeah. yeah. She had the gun. She had she the gun. He didn't have a No. He had chewing gum. Yeah. Fred. Maybe it was, I don't know, a country spy. I don't know. <laughs> but so it, Jessica's daughters think they're a part of a spy game. They also think that there's a relation there. There's a, reason, there's a reason why Jessica went faint and yeah. went white and there's, noticed him and then just instantly closed off. And yeah. then she refused to speak to the police anymore. Yeah. So there was there's something there. Mm. But what? You're not going to know until they sort out this body. I mean, it's dug up now, they're doing stuff on they're it. They're doing tests and. Information or things, obviously, but a lot of people have said he's got that sort of information. A lot of people have said he's got to be some type of dancer because he had really strong calves and pointy feet like a ballet dancer. Well, many, many spies have cover stories, right? He went that far. You'd be surprised what they can do, okay? But yeah, maybe he was some sort of dance instructor, possibly, or, or obviously shadowed as a. Yeah, I don't know. So your thoughts? Do you think he poisoned himself? Uh, not necessarily himself. Okay. Do you reckon he was poisoned? Do you reckon his cigarette may have had Maybe. traces of poison in it? Maybe. As it was half smoked, which means his heart would have stopped and he didn't finish. Tobacco is easy to uh poison. It would it would get ridden. Mm. It would maybe it was in the tip. Hits in the immune system. Yeah. Gets into your bloodstream quicker. Mm-hmm. Mm. Maybe. Maybe. But Jessica did know. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, oh yeah. Definitely a link. Mm. Definitely a link. Especially with her son. Mm. Pointy ears. Pointy teeth. But maybe they were brother and sister. It might not necessarily hit her genetically, but it might hit her children genetically. If That's the, a point. If the female was of the family. That's a point. Might not have it. That's a point. Maybe it's a long lost brother or something. I don't know, but... 
maybe he come over from Russia or whatever and that's why he's living out of a suitcase possibly we'll find out when they dig it up yeah. <laughs> so we'll see you in the next one don't forget to subscribe drop a comment below what are your thoughts on this case is it that bewildering or is it this straightforward and so many people have looked into it a bit deep I seem to think suitcase is his he was either poisoned or he did actually kill himself I, I still I, spy. I, I stand by the spy-ish thing but now I have obviously mentioned the brother and the sibling it could be a relation it here. could be a relation and it could still be in the spy game it's just she mm. doesn't want to say anything yeah. and she can't have well, she's dead she could, no. she could have been hired by the USSR and like you, won't, you don't tell your family that but then your family come and find you that's true so it could have unraveled there maybe or maybe he's involved in something or mm. involved in something in Russia or whatever but something iffy yeah but yeah, as you said, drop a comment below and we do try and read all the comments and reply. Reply. Um, I do like hearing other people's thoughts and opinions. It's very interesting for me, considering mm. I will troll for a case for hours, days, weeks. Yeah. I'll go for it all and then someone will leave a comment and I'm like, didn't think of that. Yeah. And, like, and it, ah, sends us in, it sends us down another avenue and we can exactly. look up some bits. But hopefully they can unravel some DNA. Yeah. get some things it would be interesting to keep up with this one though you reckon mm. yeah we do like a little update video yeah oh it was jessica's brother <laughs> he was a spy <laughs> mm. so yeah drop a comment below like what you said um leave your feedback we've been the unsettled don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one